Len Goodman, Strictly Come Dancing and Dancing with the Stars Judge dies at 78. Hello and welcome to our top story tonight, sad news from the world of dance. Len Goodman, the beloved judge of Strictly Come Dancing in the UK and Dancing with the Stars in the US, has passed away at the age of 78. Goodman was a fixture of the dance world for decades, known for his expertise, his wit, and his kind-hearted demeanor. Fans around the globe are mourning his loss today. In the presence of his loved ones, he passed away on Saturday in a hospice in Tunbridge Wells, Kent. His bones have cancer. Goodman appeared on Strictly from the show's inception in 2004 until 2016, and his sharp humor and avuncular criticism won him fans among viewers. He performed on Dancing with the Stars from 2005 to 2022 in addition to Strictly from 2005 to 2022. Len Goodman passed away peacefully on Monday, according to a statement released by his manager Jackie Gill. He was 78 years old. He was a devoted husband, father, and grandfather who will be greatly missed by his loved ones. When awarding contestants a score of seven points, Goodman's animated delivery made the number into his catchphrase. Craig Revel Horwood, who has been a judge on Strictly for the longest time, led the tributes on Monday and referred to Goodman as a gorgeous colleague and dear friend in his remarks. I always called him Len Goody Goodman, and it's a 10 from Len and Severn will live with me forever Len Goodman. Goodman was described as a class act by Claudia Winkleman, the host of the program, to BBC News. Claudia Winkleman. He was a beautiful man, genuine, warm and humble, who left an impression on everyone he met. Tess Daly. I'll never forget the fun we had on set, his love and passion for dancing, and that wonderfully cheeky smile lit up the screen. For me, Len, you were never a 7, you were always a 10. There will never be anyone like you, the former judge Bruno Tonioli wrote with a photo of him and Goodman. Bruno Tonioli. You are my perfect 10 forever. I feel tremendously lucky to have worked with such a professional, witty, and lovable man. Dame Darcy Bussell. He provided me enormous encouragement throughout my time at Strictly. On Monday, condolences poured not only from the entertainment industry but also from the British royal family and the UK government. The Queen Consort, Camilla, was saddened to hear the news, a Buckingham Palace representative said. Goodman was dubbed a great entertainer a popular face on TV screens up and down the country by Prime Minister Rishi Sunak's spokesperson. He continued, he will be missed by many, and our sympathies go to his friends and family. Susanna Reid, a former contestant on Strictly, described the news of Goodman's passing as such an awful shock and so sad. Len was the epitome of a proper gent and an incredible legend. He was a gorgeous man with a great sense of humor and a wicked way with words. She claimed that the time he called her samba all bounce, bum, and bongos will always stick in her mind. You floated across that floor like butter on a crumpet. Good men. It was like watching a stork who'd been struck by lightning. That tango was a mango. Delectable. For me, you can't waft enough. Goodman, who was born and raised in East London, started dancing at the age of 19 after learning that it would be beneficial for his wounded foot. After retiring from welding to become a teacher and choreographer, the former welder went on to win the British Championships in his late 20s. He then founded the Goodman Academy, a dance school in Dartford, Kent. From the show's beginning, he served as the top judge, and he made his final appearance on the 2016 Christmas Day special. He once told The Guardian, When I was first invited to do the program, I wasn't sure, since I thought it would be a bit of a Mickey take. The prejudice about what dancing courses or schools are like has been removed, though, and I'm so glad I did it. You cannot imagine the changes the program has made to dancing schools. 
there have been prodigious influxes of dancers at everyone's events. It's wonderful beyond belief. For more than 15 years, Goodman also served as the show's lead judge. He announced his retirement in November of last year, citing a desire to spend more time with my grandchildren and family in the UK. He was a passionate music lover who frequently filled in for the late Paul O'Grady on his BBC Radio 2 show. He was described as a wonderful, warm entertainer who was adored by millions by BBC Director General Tim Davey, who was also among those paying homage. He appealed to all ages and felt like a member of everyone's family. Len was the driving force behind Strictly's success. Both the general public and his countless friends and family will thuff the term legend is overused. Len and his seven points became well known in the US and UK. A real person. Boxing champion Frank Bruno added, RIP Len Goodman, this is shocking. He was the man we all thought was indestructible met him several times, he said he would personally give me some dance lessons if I ever got strictly, really sad. Goodman also had a passion for cricket and West Ham United Football Club. He was the recipient of the Carl Allen Award for his great contributions to dancing. That's all for now on the passing of Len Goodman, one of the most beloved judges in the history of dance competitions. Our hearts go out to his family, friends, and fans in this difficult time. Thank you for watching.